you're looking at all the risk coming from elevated oil prices, commodity prices, and geopolitics. So, Haslina, you know, we, we are uh, the largest, uh, we're the world's largest uh, insurer uh, alliance, and, and in Asia today we're present in 16 markets. Now, I think waking up each morning, we all know what's happening, and, you know, just listening to Bloomberg today, you know, there's constant movement in prices and everything else, but the reality is, I think, that from an insurer operating in Asia, you know, we, we are... Uh, we, we're, we're sort of further away from what's happening and the most important thing I think for us uh, as the largest uh, insurer in the world and for us in Asia is uh, the, the safety of uh, our employees, our staff uh, and the families in, in, um, in, 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 in Ukraine, in Russia. Uh, and we can't forget. I think you know we're, we're all caught on, uh, you know, with, caught up with this whole uh, what's happening with the financial markets, what's happening with oil prices. Uh, but really, what's the most important, I think, for us uh, is the humanitarian aspects, and uh, this is something that is completely top of mind for us, uh, for us in Allianz, uh, for our, uh, and and really making sure that we uh, look after the safety of um, our staff um, in uh, places like, uh, 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 you know, across uh, in Europe and 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 right. uh, so. A a Asia, as you said, is further away, but it is an interconnected world. We've seen Absolutely. how. Uh, we've seen how uh, the markets have sold off on the back of, of concerns. Uh, is that perhaps uh, prompting you to relook, review your plans for the year, your strategy for growth? So you're right, Asia. You know we're further away for sure. But uh, but, but what's happening is is likely. You know the shock is obviously. I know everyone expects that it will come. Uh, it will reach the rest of the world. And and so what does it mean for us as insurers in Asia? And so the important thing I think is that we recognize what uh, you know the, the the insurance markets and you know I'd like to say that when when you listen to the news all the time on the financial markets everyone talks about the banking side the uh, the, the, the the you know the equity market side uh, but really you know the insurance sector does not get enough of a mention uh, and the most important thing I think is to really understand what does insurance actually you know what what is insurance and 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 what is the role that we play uh, in in the markets in Asia um, and. The, the opportunity for insurance in Asia is immense. Uh, t today, you know, uh, Allianz, we're present in 16 markets uh, in Asia. Uh, the population of the world, more than 50% of the population of, of the world's population is actually in Asia. Asia is uh, the growth market for all, uh, you know, every multinational insurer you talk about, everyone is looking towards Asia. Uh, and if you look at what's happening with, uh, you know, I, I know that there are challenges that are happening in Europe and, and, and uh, you know, it's something that we cannot forget and, it, it, you know, it, it's something that's very important to all of us. Uh, but when you look specifically at the insurance market, uh, the protection gap, and, and this is an area of focus for Allianz, if you look at the mortality protection gap in Asia, it is immense. Uh, the rising middle class in Asia today, you know, 40% uh, of the what what is uh, uh, defined as you know, uh, the the gap in between uh, what we need, uh, you know, to live our our lives and and the savings that we need versus uh, what we're actually what what we are, you know what could potentially happen if lives are lost if people fall ill, that that huge gap, 40% of it uh, is actually in Asia. Uh, and uh, if you look at the markets in, in, in Asia today, the penetration rate of insurance is extremely low. Uh, what's also Arusha. compounding uh, the potential... Yes, hi, hi, Rish. Hi. Uh, Anusha, you know, I want to just uh, get more yeah. on what you're talking about. And, you know, it's really, you've just been alluding to that uh, this part of the world, Asia, is underinsured fundamentally. So how do you then actually get those uninsured people insured it, that's that's the challenge and what are the, what are the mechanics here so so rich i think it starts with number one you know it's it's really about reach uh, and here you know it's a it's a combination of awareness uh, and how do we reach them and so the biggest focus for us is really that you know uh, uh, enhancing our distribution reach uh, and for insurance, you know, there are multifaceted faceted approach to distribute uh, to, to actually reaching our cons consumers and making sure we do it in the way uh, that consumers are the most comfortable. So um, the, the biggest focus for us is really looking at the customer out there and doing uh, what you know, getting to the customer in in the in the most convenient manner for them. Uh, so there are different faceted approaches. You know, we we uh, we, we use uh, bank partners and and Allianz in Asia. We have uh, we have been part. You know, we've part we've partnered up with uh, a lot of the leading household banks um, in in Asia, 
And on, on top of that, we have a huge uh, agency force uh, in excess of 100,000 agents uh, to reach customers. And, and another aspect that I think Allianz has really uh, stood out is uh, on, uh, in the area of micro-insurance, because in, in countries like Indonesia, India, yeah. Uh, you know, an yes. important aspect is the ability to reach out to, uh, you know, the, 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 the rural parts and making sure that people, number one, are aware of insurance, number two, they can afford yes. insurance. Anisha? Uh, and how do we offer, yeah, sorry. Uh, Rish? Uh, Anisha, just, you know, you've got, you've got so many different uh, uh, silos here as well. And, you know, some of them tell you a lot. They give you data on what's going on on a macro level. And, you know, one of those micro macro uh, data sets would come from uh, your position as a leading credit insurer what is that telling us now about let's say uh, well <coughs> companies and how they're paying their bills and the league times and uh, that should give us a sense of how corporates are doing in this part of the world so so Rish, you know I yeah, so credit insurance is obviously a big big part of what we do uh, and uh, the, uh, the the data the, the data I mean so ultimately I think it's really about ensuring that uh, as, as businesses are set up and, and uh, you know they, they look at their uh, uh, you know uh, profit streams and, and where uh, the uh, commodities are you know the, the value of commodities etc it's really about understanding the areas that, that they need to, to look at in, uh, from an insurance perspective and, and I, this is where I think Allianz is an organization today uh, we're probably the only uh, multinational in Asia that offers uh, the different types of uh, protection needs of consumers that go from commodities right through to life insurance, right through to medical insurance. And I think the important aspect really is to, to uh, ensure that, uh, you know, the awareness of insurance comes through. Uh, and, you know, I, I, one, one very important aspect, I think, with insurance that uh, we, we need to really understand is that it is one uh, it, it is the one industry that not just boosts and supports economic growth, uh, but it also carries a huge social aspect uh, in, in ensuring that uh, you know when 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 uh, tragedy strikes, uh, it's the insurance insurers that come through and pay in in circumstances when floods happen, when lives are lost, uh, when you know when medical uh, you know people are in hospitals and not able to meet medical bills. Uh, and usually you talked about tie-ups. Are you looking for more perhaps? distribution agreements like the one you did with Standard Chartered? So absolutely, you know, I think that Allianz uh, as, as an insurer, we, we continue to look at ways to reach uh, the, our consumers and we continue to look at the right partnerships so that we can continue to build uh, a, a strong network uh, that is that enables us to reach consumers out there and offer them the right levels of protection. Uh, today we have a very strong partnership with HSBC as well in, uh, in on the life insurance and health insurance side in Asia. All right, Anusha, thank you for coming today. Thank you very much.